To ensure proper overlap control, a few measurements from the machine need to be taken and then entered into the pinpoint system. Let's go over some of these measurements as well as how to enter them into the system. Now we'll need to take some of those physically measured values and enter them into the cap view. In order to do that, you'll want to go to System Setup, scroll all the way down to Advanced Settings, and then scroll down to lines 12 through 15. Now number 12 describes the GPS antenna in relation to the rear axle. Number 13 describes GPS antenna whether or not it's off-center, so right or left. And the antenna above ground measurement is literally your vertical distance from the ground to your GPS antenna. And number 15 is boom ahead of rear axle. Now important note here, if you have a rear mount boom, this value will be negative. After we're done entering those, we can hit the back button. And something that I want to note before we exit out of the system setup screen is line number 16, this overlap distance. This is factory defaulted to 60 inches. Now what this does is it compensates for GPS drift. So if you're running WAS GPS, 60 inches is a good value to have. If you're running RTK, you could probably reduce that down to 40 inches. Now the reason that we need to have a number so big in there is because the cap view runs meter resolution overlap control. This number can be changed and this is a number that we'll have to change before performing the overlap test. All of the measurements that we put into the cap view will also need to be put into your rate controller. Every rate controller is a little bit different as to where these measurements are put in, so refer to your rate controller operator's manual for a guide to how to do that. As far as the overlap setup procedure, you want to first clear the maps in your cap view controller, then set up the overlap distance to zero inches. Again, that was line 16 in the system setup menu. You want to go into your rate controller and make sure that your rate controller overlap is set to off. Turn your pinpoint overlap on, and then out in the field set flags and make a pass. After you make that pass, you'll want to drive through at a 90 degree angle, adjust that pinpoint overlap if necessary. Like stated earlier, this is generally 40 to 60 inches. That number will change where this overlap turns on and off. Go back into your cap view and clear those maps. Then turn on both the rate controller and the cap view overlap. Set flags, make another pass, and now drive through at a 45 degree angle. Here you should see all of your nozzles shut off one by one. You can change the laziness in your rate controller overlap settings if needed. As you can see, measuring and entering the information is very simple, as well as performing the overlap control test. Thanks for learning with us from everyone at Capstan Ag. If you have more questions, feel free to contact any of our representatives or visit our website at capstanag.com.